Hi, my name is Hunze More. I am studying photography at the Market Photo Workshop. I'm currently studying um, the advanced course, advanced photography program. Um, I'm just gonna tell you about my, my life and this basically how I got to Market Photo Workshop and what I expect from it, I guess, as a student. Um, initially, I used to start painting just to, you know, give you a backdrop and I found a camera and I knew that's what I wanted to do. Uh, I heard about photography and how it's a very expensive, you know, medium and how even studying it is in incredibly expensive and because of my background and, you know, situation at home, I couldn't afford those kind of um, studies. And a friend of mine then told me about the Market Photo Workshop, how um, they give equipment and, you know, things are a lot more easier to access and the, short, the courses are also way shorter. So I found out about it and I came by and, and it felt like home for me. Um, I did the FC course, did well. I then did my IC course and I'm currently in the AP advanced course. In the 1980s, we had a very active program of exhibitions at a little gallery in the Market Theatre. And we used to have many visitors coming in from the townships, particularly of young people. And uh, they would ask lots of questions about the photographs, how they were made, and why they were made, and so on. And it became clear to me that they had an eager, they had a thirst for photographic skills and for a greater understanding of the meaning and significance of, of photographs and of images. And so I formed the idea of starting a workshop where we might teach basic photography and visual literacy. And so, together with a friend, I raised some money and um, we started the, the, the uh, market, what came to be called the Market Photo Workshop. That was in about 1988-89. The photo workshop started off as an educational facility to bring kind of uh, informal training, workshop-based training. And I think over the years it's, uh, it's developed into much more non-formal uh, space. It's still not formal instruction like universities because it doesn't really work for our students. We have to think about where they come from, the context that they, that they live in, um, and respond to those in a, in a dynamic way. Uh, so currently we offer foundation courses, which are very short-term courses. Uh, there are eight, uh, eight-week foundation courses, then there's an intermediate course, which is three months, and then the students have a choice between either one of two-year programs. The one is the, uh, the advanced program in photography, and then there is also the photojournalism and documentary photography program. Uh, these courses deal very broadly with uh, kind of curatorial practice, gallery practice, developing an independent body of work. And then of course the photojournalism documentary photography program deals with media. One has to be sensitive and be equipped to, 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 to you know, and listen very attentively and sensitively to students, you, you know, because it's not just about taking images, there's a lot of responsibility that comes with that as well. And moreover, one also has to remember that if you create an image, it's not only your image, you're creating it for, for public out there. You, you know, so the construction of image comes with responsibility without necessarily uh, limiting, or how do they say in, 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 in media terms, prohibiting information from flowing, but one has to be uh, responsible as well. It's an exciting time for me because, you know, in, in the beginning it used to be I love taking pictures, I love making images, and now it's getting to a more deeper stage where I'm expressing myself with, with the work that I do make now. Um, I obviously couldn't have done it without the help of the staff here at the Market Photo Workshop. Currently, I'm, I'm, I'm working independently as, as, as a photographer. 
uh, both uh, an exhibiting photographer and uh, also uh, trying to tap into uh, the, the commercial or the business side of photography. One of the most uh, valuable things that I feel the photo workshop has prepared me for was um, small things, you know, like uh, uh, professional communication, you know, uh, things like um, planning, you know, uh, uh, having a week or a monthly plan or a future two, three year plan, you know, which was a skill that uh, I, I did not have before, you know. And um, so I think it's through these, um, like from working, from doing an internship, working as a course assistant and to working as a coordinator for courses and training, is that I acquired these skills whereby I see myself applying now as I work independently. Part of what we have created around this course curriculum is a secondary layer of projects. Uh, so it's still training, but it's training in the field through making people aware of certain issues. So some of the projects that we've been working with uh, would deal with issues around HIV and AIDS or heritage, or projects around uh, very, very clear political questions in our society. We link students up with these communities and then they, they work together on these projects. And it teaches them very important life skills. Uh, how to negotiate, how to think about your pictures, how to think about the subjects of your pictures when your subjects give you feedback around your, your, your pictures. Being part of group exhibitions, um, being part of the masterclass um, also enabled me to get out of the photo workshop and also start doing things for myself. Um, and currently I work in archive. I work with um, Sentinel for Gangs Archive and I'm also working with Warren Siebert's archive, which also ties in with photography at the end of it. The work in the archive is also teaching me to really consider of the kind of career I want to go to. Now I'm open to things like archiving. I'm interested in more about that. And also producing work that is related to archiving, which I think is important. And in my opinion, since the end of apartheid, we're now 20 years out of apartheid, um, the students here, on the whole, are turning out amazing photography. I think they're full of bullshit, they're full of energy, they're questioning, they want to know why, and I think this is great. There's a vibe um, that you keep on walking into it and it allows one to grow. And I saw a photo workshop as a place like that where I was starting to focus more on what I wanted to do. And slowly the confusion started making sense.